Hello, I'm creating this video to engage you to practice thinking and reasoning, alright? So I have five questions. So the first question is this. The equation for candle Q is Y equals to KT. And the equation for candle P is Y equals to... You need to fill in the blank. Now where y represents the length burn so the y is actually on the vertical axis whereas t is the horizontal axis so if this equation is y equals to kt can you guess what is the equation of this y equals to what so type in your answer give ourselves a minute okay let me discuss the answer now since we know for candle q the equation of y equals to kt, that means we can conclude the slope of the line for candle Q is k. And earlier we have seen that candle P burn 1.6 times as fast as candle Q. So the slope is 1.6k. Alright, so if you know the slope is 1.6k, using the equation y equals to mx plus b in this case it passed through the y-intercept the b is 0 uh, the m is 1.6k so that means for equation of the line for candle p will be y equals to 1.6k times t alright t is like the x 1.6k is the slope the m Alright, so I hope this helps. Okay, the second equation is this. Is the equation n over 16 equals to t2 over t1? Alright, t2 and t1 is the time interval. t2 is from the 0 to the second moment is t2. And t1 is from 0 to the first moment. So it's n over 16 equals to t2 over t1. Alright a guess and we will discuss the answer okay now the slope for candle P is 16 over T1 the slope for candle P is also n over T2 why n is the vertical height and T2 is the horizontal from the origin so change of y over change of x is the slope of the line P and that slope is also same as the slope from 0 to 16 the y value or 0 to t1 so 16 over t1 is equals to n over t2 so we can conclude 16 over t1 equals to n over t2 if we simplify by interchanging 16 and t2 alright you will get this equal proportion and then we write the n over 16 in front interchange the left and right side we will get what we want so the answer for this is true okay, let's move on to the third question now if you know the equation for the line Q is y equals to kt can you tell what is the n value All right, using this equation y equals to kt so that means your expression should have a k in it. Alright. So type in your answer. And then let's discuss now. So again, recall the equation for candle P is 1.6 kT. Because the slope of P is 1.6 times the slope of Q. Right? So now if we know that is the equation of the line, all we know need is to just plug in the value of t this point the coordinates is t2 comma n that means when time is t2 the height is n we plug it into this equation if we plug in n is equals to the y value so then n is equals to 1.6 times kt2 so that is the expression that you should type in Okay. So the third, fourth question now is the equation for candle P. If the equation is y equals to mt, 
then can we conclude that m is equal to 16 over 10? So is this statement true or false? Have in your answer. Now, to find m, we need the slope of the line, right? Since this is the equation for y equals for the line or for candle P, right? Now, how do we find? We can either plug this point, which is T1 and 16, it's like the X and Y value, into the equation. Or we can plug the second one into the equation. Let's do one at a time. If we plug the first point onto this equation, we will get 16 equals to M times T1. If we solve for M, we will get M equals to 16 over T1. Unfortunately, T1 is not necessarily equals to 10. So therefore, it's not equals to 16 over 10. But if we plug in this point, we will get M equals to N over T2, which is also not 16 over 10. So the answer for question 4 is false. Okay, so this is the last question. Take a moment to answer it, and then we will discuss the answer. For this question, we need to consider the slope of the line Q. If you look at the 35 and 10 and T2 and T1, you more or less think that we have to deal with the line Q. Now, this looks like Y2 minus Y1 over X2 over minus x1. So we, are, we need two points to find the slope. So slope for the line for candle Q using the two point is this two point and this is the slope. Change of y is 35 minus 10 that is the, the y value and the x value is t2 minus away t1 and that is your t2 minus t1. So that is the slope of this line segment. Now what about 10 over T1? 10 over T1 is actually this over this. If you want to use equation of the line, you can pick two points. The second point is the origin. So again, 10 over T1 is the slope of this line segment. Since this line is the same line, it must have the same slope throughout because it's burning at a constant speed. So hence, the two ratios are equal, and therefore, this is true.